Hey guys, welcome back to another how to paint that palette video where I just take a palette and try to come up with different combinations, share it with you guys and hopefully I can help you find different combinations for those palettes that you are trying to pan or simply just have them in your collection and you want to find different combinations to use them a little bit more. So today it's going to be on the Lorac Pro because on my last tutorial where I did the Vice 2 green look, somebody mentioned that they were having a hard time to create a look with the color slate and make it wearable um, and I know what you mean because it's like every time I put this on my lid it's like a smoky look if I put it on my crease it's a smoky look it's always like really really smoky now I love to use this color all over the lid for those specific occasions but when I want to wear it for I don't know regular life i'm not gonna go anywhere i'm not gonna go to a party i'm just gonna go to work or i'm gonna run errands this is one of the looks that i create with this eyeshadow i have a couple of more a couple more that i do regularly but this is one of my favorites and it's using a cream eyeshadow by maybelline this is the color bad to the bronze and this is what it looks like whatever you put this on like even if it's a cream eyeshadow or a powder eyeshadow this color transforms whatever is underneath and I, I think that it makes it so wearable at least for my skin tone or at least for my undertone I feel like it changes but it still keeps the base color of the eyeshadow that you have underneath so you always end up with a different look which I do enjoy so this is one of my tricks whenever it's a really hard you know, eyeshadow, I use a color tattoo, specifically bad to the bronze, and this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using for today. So I still have the color slate, but in a very subtle way all over the lid. I did apply a couple of layers, so I still used up, you know, a little bit of that product, but I could create something that it would work for my taste in makeup. So anyways, if you want to see more videos like this, and if you have any requests or specific eyeshadows that you want me to help you with, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to help you with that. But if you're interested in knowing how to achieve this look, then just keep watch. So I'm gonna start by applying an eye primer. This is MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm using a Luxie brush so I can blend it while I'm applying the product. Now I'm gonna move on to the color, the third color on the top row. <laughs> I don't know why I covered it and I'm gonna apply it into my crease area and also into my transition this is a very beautiful color that it's amazing to create depth into the crease but it's also light enough if you use it with a fluffy brush like this 203 by real techniques to, to the point that you can use it very lightly as a transition color now I'm gonna take the color black in this like a blending brush by Target the up and up brand they don't package it like that anymore but it's a really nice brush and I'm gonna apply this color into the outer corner now you can not do this step if you don't want to but I think that this black color it's a really nice way to use it in the outer corner of the lid just because it creates a little bit more depth into that area and when I blend it with other color that you're gonna see in just a second it creates like a different effect so I do like it I go just one layer and then I use the 203 brush by Real Techniques to take my time to blend it now I'm gonna take the color mauve and whatever I stop the color black I'm gonna take it from there and go into the inner corner once again since I didn't go all the way in with the black color this mauve it's gonna create a softer look now the same brush the 203 I love this brush <laughs> I'm gonna use it in my brow bone area with that matte color that it's gonna create that light effect and also at the same time I'm blending the transition color that we applied in the first step we did in this tutorial now to give a little extra something I'm using a flat shader brush this is by crown brushes and I'm using my Mac painterly paint pot this is gonna create a lighter base and also it can help you fix whatever mistakes you did in the crease area after that I'm gonna take the color slate and since it's a very tacky base I didn't wait any time or set it or anything as you can see it's packing in the color 
color a little bit patchy but I'm gonna apply a couple of layers because we're gonna transform that color so it's not that smoky but as you can see I'm applying it all over the lid until it reaches the crease area now I'm going to take the star of this uh, tutorial, this is Bad to the Browns, and I'm going to put it on top of that color. Once again, I want it to be um, the color, the, the pop of color, the color slate, but at the same time I wanted to create something that it was more wearable for my taste in makeup, something that I could take to work that day and not be like it was too dark or too smoky. And when I apply this color Bad to the Browns, it kind of changes this completely. Now I'm using the number 11 lashes and by kiss very cheap affordable and really great quality and i'm also gonna do a very thin line in my top lash line i'm gonna take the time and do it really slow because i want it to be very thin now if you want to go for a cat eye or if you want to do wing liner very dramatic you can do that because i know a lot of people do it for every day but for my eye shape i feel like it makes it too dramatic and since i'm trying to make it something more wearable i'm just going to concentrate in creating a very thin line and at the same time kind of go in between the lashes so i don't see any parts of my skin now i'm going to apply the lashes that have been drying on my desk for about 60 seconds so now they're ready to be put on and they don't move at all now after i apply my lashes i love to tight line with this jordana pencil and i'm gonna give an extra pop of color that it's not gonna be too noticeable but it's something something in the lower lash line this is by mally it's a beautiful color it doesn't budge it doesn't move and i really enjoy putting it in the lower lash line then i'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara whatever you know that works for you and it's not gonna smudge or move throughout the day that's the kind of mascara that you use you should use and, and that is the final look i think it's very soft it's something very wearable but it's still using you know those darker colors in that lorac pro palette that might be a little bit too much if you're trying to wear those colors for the i don't know to go to work or just to be around the house or run errands so i hope you enjoyed this wearable version if you did remember to thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below so anyways, that was it for today's video. If you have any other combination with the color slate that you make it work for everyday life or if you found a combination that works for you for not a so smoky look, let me know in the comments down below. I love to try that out and maybe we can help each other ban that color. So if you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos Monday through Fridays and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.